This is NASA's space power facility near Cleveland, Ohio. It's used to test spacecraft in the conditions of outer space, and it does that by pumping out the 30 tons of air. They built an outer concrete skin, which is part radiation shielding and part an external pressure vessel. It takes three hours to pump out the 800,000 cubic feet of air from the chamber. By now, you've all seen astronauts and objects floating around inside an orbiting spacecraft, seemingly free of Earth's gravitational field. But these images are misleading. In fact, these objects are actually not floating but in a state of continuous freefall. Any object in freefall experiences microgravity, or weightlessness, which occurs when the object falls towards the Earth. But how do you replicate microgravity here on Earth? NASA Glenn has been conducting microgravity experiments since the 1960s in drop towers like this. These facilities rely on freefall of the experiment to produce a microgravity environment. Here, NASA can test experiments in a reduced gravity environment, similar to orbiting in space. <laughs> because I, I like to show this is the magnet which is which is beyond you if you have a look here this is There is no problem with uh, putting a man to force a man by this magnetic levitation to fly in the air. So technically, we can do it with you without any problems. We, we put it here. Let's put it here. As, as you see, it's alive and moving quite happily. No tricks. Putting a man to force a man by this magnetic levitation to fly in the air. So technically, we can do it with you without any problem. Technically, we can do it with you without any problem.